Hi there Sagittarius, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 29th of February. This week begins with the Sun continuing to combine with dreamy Neptune. If you're someone who loves a very peaceful environment in your home, this is going to be right up your street. It's going to enable you to listen to gentle music, dim the lights and just really chill out in some perhaps pleasing solitude. If however there are some more challenging emotional issues that you need to look at, this can be quite tricky because Neptune distorts reality. The sun is about the substance and Neptune can lap away at that and with the sun already in your sector of emotions, if you have got any uncertainties, you could find yourself going around in circles a little bit if you can't really get clear about what's what. Fortunately, there's a terrific angle between Venus and Saturn in your sign and also Uranus. Uranus is in a very playful, spontaneous part of your scope and has been for some years. But this angle with, with Saturn suggests that anything novel or new that you're working on, as long as you're persistent in the way you try to get it to where you want it to be, shows really great a great chance of succeeding. But Venus there is just going to oil your communications. It's going to give you greater graciousness and charm and a certain amount of diplomacy if you do need to talk things over. But it's possible that you may find yourself communicating with someone who just really is quite an impressive character. And the enrichingness of this can make you feel good and help to overcome some of that innovation that the Sun's combination with Neptune can throw in all of our directions in the first half of this week. The last few days of this week, however, Sagittarius, are actually very busy. The Sun forges a terrific angle with Pluto. And if you are wanting to improve your financial lot, then something to do with your home can be significant. You might think about renting out a room, you might think about downsizing, upsizing, getting on the property ladder, whatever's right for you. But some kind of transformation can go on around the security and comforts of your world. However, on Saturday, Mercury moves his way into Pisces too. Now, Mercury is in detriment in this area, so it's not at its best, and it can see you just going into yourself a little bit and finding it a bit more tricky to find your word or to clear your thoughts. Fortunately, perhaps the best part of this week occurs on its very last day when Mars arrives in your sign. Mars is going to be here for five long months. Now there's going to be a retrograde and it will go back into, uh, into Scorpio. So there's a two month break just about at the end of May onwards but it comes back in August and September and this is going to really fire you up, give you a lot more determination to take a firmer grip on your life direction. And if something's been slipping and not really going in the direction you want, it's going to give you that extra spark of, spark of motivation to do something about it. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.